Lake Powell, the nation's second largest reservoir, is once again seeing its water levels fall as the summer season winds down. As of September 9, the lake stands at an elevation of 3,547 feet above sea level, a sharp drop from the year's peak of 3,561 feet, which was reached in June. This steady decline has pushed the reservoir to just 29% of its total capacity, one of the lowest levels in decades. Several factors are driving the rapid drop in water levels. The first is the ongoing demand from downstream users, particularly Lake Mead, which depends on Powell's releases to help keep the Hoover Dam generating electricity for millions of people in Nevada, Arizona, and California. At the same time, population growth across the Southwest has intensified water use for homes, businesses, and agriculture, further straining the system. Another major contributor is the persistent mega-drought gripping the Colorado River Basin. Reduced snowpack in the Rocky Mountains, which normally feeds the river, has left the inflows into Lake Powell far below historic averages. Combined with hotter summers and increased evaporation, the reservoir has been unable to recover fully even during wet years. The importance of Lake Powell cannot be overstated. Built in the 1960s with the completion of Glen Canyon Dam, the reservoir serves as a critical water savings bank for the Colorado River system. It provides drinking water for millions, irrigation for vast agricultural lands, and is a cornerstone for hydropower generation across the region. The electricity produced at Glen Canyon Dam supports communities throughout the West, including rural areas that rely heavily on affordable energy. In addition to its practical role, Lake Powell is also a major hub for recreation and tourism, drawing millions of visitors each year who boost the economies of Utah and Arizona. But as water levels continue to decline, the risks are growing. If the lake drops too close to dead pool levels, Glen Canyon Dam could lose its ability to generate electricity, creating ripple effects across the entire West. Experts stress that without significant changes in water use and conservation, the long-term sustainability of Lake Powell and the broader Colorado River system remains in jeopardy.